Hey you guys, welcome to Consume the Goodness. My name is Kendra, I am a certified lifestyle and weight management specialist, and this channel is all about living well in real life, down to earth ways, coming from somebody who understands balancing a healthy lifestyle and real life challenges. My whole goal here is to help you guys consume the goodness spiritually and physically and emotionally and mentally in any way that I am able to help you do that. I love health, I love God's word, I love combining those two things, and I love helping people, which is what I hope to do here. So, today's video is kind of a redo of a video that I've done in the past already. This is going to be the skit version of the healthy doesn't have to mean boring video. Here we go. Do I really want to start eating healthy? Ah, it's going to be so bland. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to start eating food that tastes like like eating cardboard paper and grass <clears throat> not true filling your body with high nutrient dense foods does not have to mean boring tasteless and bland season your food just don't use tons of sugar and tons of salt Combine different high nutrient dense foods together to make an awesome flavor. Cook the same meals that you always cooked before, just swap out the low nutrient dense ingredients for high nutrient dense ingredients. So you're saying I can eat foods that are good for me and taste good? Yep. Sweet. Okay, so I decided on the healthy living and now I go for a walk every day. Go for a walk around my block every day. Same walk every day. Really getting boring. It's just boring having to do the same thing over and over just to try to stay fit. <clears throat> Not true. You can totally mix up your workouts. If you're bored with what you're doing, just change it up a bit. Add a boost. Take a dance class, find a Zumba workout on your TV or a Zumba class. Ride your bike, go swimming, climb, hike. Just mix it up so you don't get bored. Oh yeah, good point. Do I really want to be saved? Uh, it just seems that that life would be so boring and blah. I mean, what fun could you really have? You'd just be sitting at home. You can't go out. You can't have parties. You can't go to the movies. Everything has something of vile in it. Can't do anything fun as a saved person. Not true. Go to the movies. Go to concerts. Have get-togethers. As a saved person, you'll find yourself less interested in listening to and watching certain things with a bad message and more interested in listening to and watching things with a good message and you'll be filled with a light and joy that you have never had before life with god does not mean cutting out the fun in life by any means life after salvation that is joy that is an exhilarating life oh no 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 i am living it up this is an exhilarating life. I've got millions. I have 10 expensive cars, a yacht, jet skis, house in the mountains, a vacation home in the Bahamas, a different hot date for every event, every celebrity event that I attend, big house on my own island. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I am never bored. What is being saved going to add to my life when I have all of that. What about the things that matter? Family, love, comfort, joy, home. Um, islands matter. I mean, yeah, I can feel a little lonely sometimes. I mean, the uh, after the parties end and the big empty house kind of is symbolic of the emptiness I feel inside. I don't really have anyone around to love or anyone really to love me or be there for me. But I have a whole lot of non-boring things to be loving. <laughs> okay. No? Oh, okay. Well, when you're saved and filling your spirit in all parts of your life with God's word, 
Only then will you know what true excitement feels like. Holy spirit level excitement? That can't be matched. So you're saying I can have an exhilarating life and be saved? Yep. Well, that is good to know. Hebrews 13.5 says, Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. If our focus is on some luxurious love of money lifestyle, we won't be getting much in return. Not on a real level anyway, not on a real level that actually matters. And if our focus is on flavor at the expense of our health, we're not gonna get very much in return for that either. Not anything good anyway. We'll just have less energy, more health problems, foggier brain, and visceral fat that's making our organs harder to function the way that they're supposed to. So, if food can taste good while being good for us, and life can be exhilarating as a saved person, if healthy eating and salvation both mean feeling better physically and spiritually and mentally and emotionally and all of, in all of these ways, why would we not choose a life with those things? What are we waiting for? Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for sharing the videos and the channel and for just everything, for all of your support and encouragement. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for that. Please share this video as far and wide as you can, not for me, not for my recognition, but for God, for God's recognition and to get a good message out there about just living healthier in simple ways. and living life with God and how great that actually is. Thank you again for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it or if you have any questions or feedback or anything at all. Please don't forget to check out the links in the description for Pastor Stuart Guthrie at Family Bible Fellowship. So much, so much greatness there. So please check out those links. Thank you. I love you guys. God bless. And I hope to have you back on the next one.